Hey guys, what is going on? We are back and we've got a very special one for you here today. We do have a shotgun in this game, which is very, very powerful. And this is the Einhorn Revolving. It's a very interesting weapon in this game. It doesn't have a super large magazine. It can be a little bit tricky to use sometimes. I actually would recommend using this as sort of like your secondary if you are using like an overkill class. Setup. This is absolutely perfect if you do just want to pull it out and blast someone away. You want to secure a kill up close, this is going to be the shotgun for you. Just before we do get into talking about our best Einhorn Revolving class, Set up here though, make sure you do hit that subscribe button with those notifications turned on. I do very much appreciate it and it really does help me out. And if you could as well, leave a like on the video. That does help get these videos to as many people as possible. Helps cut through the YouTube algorithm and helps grow our little community here. So let's take a look at the best shotgun in Vanguard Season 3 Reloaded in the Einhorn Revolving. Now, of course, this thing isn't only going to be suitable for just using it as a sidearm, but it is a very, very effective tool if you do just want to delete somebody up close. However, you definitely can get away with running this thing as its own primary weapon. I just would recommend using it on those longer range like medium range long range maps you can definitely run around with this thing on like shoot house mayhem stuff like that and get away with it here but again secondary option still very powerful as well to start us off here, we do have the muzzle, which is the M97 full choke here. This does give us a tighter pellet spread, basically meaning our pellets are closer together, meaning we can do more damage to the central area of the person. In the barrel, we do have the class of 710mm 02B. Essentially, this does give us more damage range, makes us highly accurate and controllable. Damage range is all we really care about here with this, which is very, very nice extension. Then in the optic, we don't really care about this super lots. We do have the 1913 variable 4x8, but this doesn't really make too much difference. In the stock, we do have the VDD Hunter for hip fire accuracy increase, aim walking movement speed, aim down side speed, and sprint to fire speed. You can also take the remove stock as well if you do want to sprint around the map a little bit more quickly here. In the underbarrel, of course, we go with the SMLE pistol grip. This is sprint to fire speed and hip fire accuracy, perfect for every shotgun. In the magazine, this one makes it a little bit easier to sort of reload this thing, which can be a little bit slow. This is the 16 gauge five round fast mag. Essentially, this adds a little bit of a magazine rather than having to load each shell into the gun, which does take a very long time. Then in the ammo type, we do have packed powder here to increase that damage range again, which is pretty limited, but again, it is a shotgun, so you're gonna get those kills up close anyway. In the rear grip, pine tar grip for hip fire accuracy again. In the proficiency, we go with gung ho here so we can fire while we are sprinting. Or you can take sleight of hand as well if you wanna increase that reload speed. And then in the kit, we do go with fully loaded here, or you can take quick depending on what you do wanna play with this thing. If you're using this as your main weapon, your only primary weapon, you probably wanna take fully loaded so you have more shells. But if you're using this as a secondary, you probably wanna take quick so you can sprint around the map a little bit faster here. Alrighty, so if you guys know me a little bit and you've been following the channel for a little while, you might know that I'm not normally a dust house kind of guy when it comes to these videos. It's just usually a little bit like too chaotic just for sort of commentary and stuff like that. But we do have a shotgun here. So, I mean, this feels appropriate. Like just running around and being able to instantly make people go away. It feels not too bad on this uh, particular map, mostly because being able to delete people is what this gun does, and it is very, very fun, man, I swear. This might be my favorite shotgun in the game. Like, when I, we first saw this thing, and it was like, hey, revolving shotgun? What do you mean? That's gonna be insane. Like, when we saw, oh my goodness, when we saw this thing, oh, you... Mm, <laughs> I'm a bit upset about that, actually. <laughs> When we first saw that there was like a revolving shotgun in like the, the beta and things, I was like, that sounds interesting. Like that's going to be a pretty, pretty nifty little weapon, I think. And then once we sort of played with it, we worked out that it was eh, not bad. And now we've sort of changed our opinion, you know, trying to make the class setup work a little bit better. And this thing's a machine, bro. Like, realistically, all the shotgun is about is making people who are up close disappear. And that's what this thing does. Oh, God. <laughs> Reload cancel did help a lot there. This is actually where the single shells would come in hand, come in handy a little bit here, just because reloading can be a little bit tricky with this thing. It's still, oh, the, the magazine size sort of kept us out there. And as you watch this gameplay, you might start to see what I mean by this thing being a little bit more reliable as say a secondary option. Say you are fighting at those medium ranges, you want somebody to just be able to come into, like, come next to you and then just, you, you kill them. Like, it's just a good option to switch to. Whereas if you do have this as your primary weapon, reloading is definitely a little bit more of a factor with this kind of thing. But there is going to be a guy in this corridor. That was him. Range on this thing's actually not too bad. It doesn't look like it's going to be super great with the, uh, with just the numbers. Looking at the stat, doesn't seem like it's going to be that good. But I mean, once you start using this thing, it's just, oh god. <laughs> Run. Just lay down. This is fine. Just lay down. Have it. Have a lay down. Whew. Again, we are making. Oh boy! Why did that guy not appear on the advanced UAV? I didn't think Ghost did that. 
I, I didn't think Ghost actually did that. I thought that was uh, not a thing. Oh boy. Reloading a little risky there. And chuck that over there. And jump down and kill this guy, hopefully. I don't know what that guy was up to. Being able to two shot people with this at those medium distances still feels really good. But I mean, when you are getting the one shot kills, it's awesome. Like, this thing is so satisfying. <laughs> I mean. There's not much more fun in this game that you can have. Like, just being able to blast people with a shotgun on Dust House. Like, that... It's just good, bro. Then you do get killed like that occasionally by somebody with an SMG. And it's like, you're a loser. You're a loser using an SMG on this map. Use it. Ooh, doggo. And the flamethrower. We gotta get... Oh, yeah, that was always gonna be a tough situation to be in. Enemy's got the dogs out. And the, uh... And the flame naught. Which is why we're going to go this way. Dog again. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> okay. Alright. Desert Siege is a pretty long range, sort of medium range map for the most part. But there are areas of this map where we can utilize and sort of play to our play style. Oh my goodness. Big old sneeze right at the start there. Not ideal. Ugh. Hopefully that didn't make it into the video. Hopefully we managed to cut that. But if we do play in corridors such as these, we sort of play in the close range areas of the map. We should be able to control the middle building, which is like the main point that we want to look after here. Obviously not like that. Not just standing out in the open and waiting to get shot by a guy. Literally just standing in the in the building. Again, we've got to try and get nice and... We've got to get try and close... To get a, whoa, whoa, my brain just wasn't having those English words in that order apparently little tough little tough i think it's always going to be a little tricky to show off just how powerful a shotgun can be in these games when again you do have to play sort of up close and personal again it is a shotgun after all but i mean a lot of these maps do have those medium range lines of sight and it's always going to be a little a little bit tricky to sort of make some stuff like this work i'm just going to throw that down there and actually try and push it into here anybody got that guy Always a little bit scared about going upstairs just when there's not teammate control of the area, just because I mean, yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty confident there's guys up there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's a guy sitting up on that little. Okay, never mind. We just sort of waited around for too long. <laughs> Our indecision cost us there. Okay, there is a teammate up there now, so hopefully we can move up into this space. We're just gonna jump this way. Did take that guy by surprise a little bit. Oh god, another one. That guy. Just gonna try and stop them from moving into our power positions. Get me out of here. Alright, we're good. Again, just sort of trying to consider where the enemy might end up coming from. Can't jump up into there, apparently. Game won't allow it. Oh boy. Just gonna chuck this armor on just to make me feel a little bit more safe. Okay. I'll oh boy. Nope. Nope. No! <laughs> of course there was an enemy, dude. Little. Dust House Little Map. This bigger map. Make it tough. <laughs> and the reload on this thing is kind of inconvenient. That's what makes this thing a, basically a perfect sidearm. If this isn't your main weapon, you can definitely do a lot of work with this thing. Especially just, I mean, you fire some SMG shots or something like that. And you pull out your shotgun if you need to get somebody up close. I mean, it's basically perfect for that. But I mean, is a primary weapon after all. That shotgun should be. Again, just making use of the close range sort of positions that we can take up in here. Again, I don't really want to peek out down the stairs too much. Just because there's going to be a guy. Ah! And we can sort of control this area quite well. Because I mean, once you do sort of start controlling the area like this, people get very upset about it and they will continue to push you. So you do have to sort of have your head on a swivel a little bit here. You just got to be aware that people will get mad at you trying to sit up in this spot and they will start coming for you. Okay. Ah, heck, let's just go for it. Who cares, man? They got that guy. Oh, boy. Not, not great. Not a great place to lay down and try and reload when there is literally a guy shooting you in the spine. Not ideal. But again, this whole situation obviously isn't ideal. I mean, there's a guy coming around the corner now. Close. 
I'm just gonna go back in here. Back into our, our spot. Okay. <laughs> that was always gonna be a little bit of a rough option, but I figured we were gonna get surrounded eventually anyway, so what can you do sometimes? There's a lot of guys in here. Like a lot of guys. Like that. Like there's Oh boy. No! <laughs> uh, this is how it goes sometimes. Alright, should be a guy here, maybe? Anybody here? Yes. Alright. Trying to clear this out a little bit again. Oh god. <laughs> it just happens again, man. Like, every time we go on a little bit of a decent... Like, we almost start into going on a streak, man. Like, somebody will just come around the corner and be like, Yep, yeah, no. Nah. You know, I'm not happy with you doing that, and they'll kill me. <laughs> it's a little bit tough, man. But again, long-range map. Shotgun. So. Oh, ooh. Got us. They traded out there. Always gonna be a little bit tough, but, you know, we're not blaming it. We're not blaming it. We're still able to do a pretty decent amount of work here. Especially since it's not ideal. Wait, is that just a... Okay, I thought that wasn't... An... No, I'm gonna get this go. Okay, a lot of shots to kill one man. Oh, <laughs> you're joking, dude. Leave me alone. <laughs> Come on, get me inside. Right. Oh, man, big pack of bursts there. That was bad. That was a little rough. Have to hit the reload as well. All right. I have to make a decision. Okay, decision got made for me. That's fine. I can, I can take that. Hit the reload and just wait. Wait half a second. Try and bait them into coming in here. Oh, just hit the shot. Like, just hit the shot. I had no idea what position we were in. We just missed. Like, oh, that is frustrating. Okay, whatever. We did it. 33 and 16, obviously a pretty rough game, but I mean, on a larger map like Desert Siege can be a little bit tricky, but you can still see the power of this shotgun in its right circumstances. So again, we're going to have our final thoughts on this thing in just a second here. So again, guys, this might just be the best shotgun in the Vanguard Season 3 Reloaded update. The Einhorn Revolving is just a fantastic killing tool at people who are up close. You can even get like two or three kills in one magazine with this thing, which is super, super satisfying. But man, this thing can be used as a primary weapon. It's still effective. You can definitely use this as a second secondary option in an overkill class setup. Say somebody is sort of rushing around the corner, you pull this out, you are getting that kill. It's basically guaranteed at that point. But again, if you did like this one and it did help you out at all, make sure you do hit that subscribe button with those notifications turned on. And while you're there as well, if you could like the video, leave a little like for me. That would mean an awful lot to me. It would get these videos to as many people as possible. It really does help cut through the YouTube algorithm and get these videos to as many people as possible and help grow our little community here. So again, thank you for watching this one. And hopefully that does mean I will see you in the next one. Bye.